Hi there, welcome to a quick tutorial on the new Essential Graphics panel in Premiere Pro CC. Now, Premiere Pro has changed the way that titles work. Uh, if you're like me and you're recently doing a project, wanted to create a title and you went to a new item, and hang on a sec, where's the title? Nothing there, so clicked on this, and same thing you realize that Premiere Pro has changed the way it works with titles. Now the old titler is still available, but to find it, you have to go File, New, and then Legacy Title. And if you click on that, you see you'll get the old titler. Now that's all well and good, but actually the old titler was pretty clunky. I'd been getting fed up with it for quite a while. It was very slow and not that great, especially if you're doing lots of titles in a project. So Adobe have created the new Essential Graphics panel. And actually, once you get used to it, it's a very easy and efficient way of creating titles. So say I want to add a title onto this particular scene here. All I need to do is go down and select the text tool and just click anywhere. And you'll see the text box opens up and I can start typing. So I can create my title. So let's go for something like this. And you'll see here that I have a new panel called Essential Graphics. Now, if this doesn't appear for you, just go to Window and make sure Essential Graphics is ticked and click it and that will open it up. What we have here is a number of controls over the title. So I can go ahead and align it. I can change the opacity of it. I can move it around into any particular place that I want. Um, I can use the other tools as well to move it. And I've got all sorts of control over it here. I can go ahead and obviously change the font and or the kerning and leading and things like that. If I go ahead and select the title. So I can go ahead and for example, you know, change the font to something horrible like that. Um, so I have all sorts of controls within here. Let's just go back and put it to something a little bit more neutral. Now let's say for example, I want to add a box around this. So title's looking just a little bit lost on its own. So if I go into my central graphics panel, you'll see here that there's a little icon which indicates a new layer. And if I click on that and then select rectangle, I can now create a rectangle. And if I just add this on, I can shape it up and uh, maybe I want to just drop the opacity of that down slightly and I've got all sorts of options here so maybe the line I want to go something like that and you can add a drop shadow to it if you want now what you'll notice is that the title is created and by default it's five seconds long that's just to do with whatever preferences you have set as the preference for a still image that's brought into Premiere Pro but you can make this longer just as you would a normal clip or shorter. You can add a dissolve to it quite easily just by playing default transition and therefore you can fade it in and out pretty easily. The other cool thing with it is that you can add all sorts of other effects to it. Now if you go into your effects controls panel and select the clip what you'll notice is that you have the text and the shape in there and I could go ahead and drop something like a fast blur on and then let's say I want to blur this in and out I can add a keyframe and then up the blurriness let's go something like this and then you'll see if I play through I've got a nice blur now on my title so a really flexible way, and you can add pretty much any effect you like to your title. Now, one thing to note is that if you create a title with a new Essential Graphics panel, that it won't show up in your project panel. You see here, I have my project panel, and it's not showing this Galactic Wonder title. It's only in the Essential Graphics panel, and I need to make sure I have it selected in order to make any edits or adjustments to it. Now, one useful thing is that I can go ahead and I can copy this title and I can paste it back onto my timeline. I can drop it over, say, this second clip I have here. And now let's say I want a different title. So I make sure that I select this different title and go into the text. And let's just be really original and just change that to two. 
and let's just go ahead and make our box a little bit bigger something like that and let's just square them up and back into this and square this one up there we go now what used to happen when you used to copy titles in the old titler is that if you made a change to one it would change them all but as you can see I can jump back and I've created a new title now taking this even a step further what's really handy in the new essential graphics is that I can right click or command click if I'm on a Mac on the clip and then I can select export as motion graphics template if I click that and then if I call this uh, star title and click OK what I can now do is I can go up to browse and you'll see that I have now have a title template called star title and I can bring this on let it load and I have my title and then I can go ahead I can click that and I can edit those parameters however I want to and if I go back into the browse what I can begin to do is create new folders and then I can move my titles into that and keep it nice and organized so you can go through project after project creating new titles saving them and then having them available for future projects hopefully that's been useful if you do have any questions please drop them in the comments below and i'll get back to you hit the like and subscribe button and i'll see you next time thanks very much for watching